on this week's episode, DC Gets Dark in San Diego Hype. Dark Days Come to DC and my pick of the week, Justice League Dark number one. Spinning out of the events of No Justice comes a new series from writer James Tinian IV. Shadowy forces have come to reclaim Earth's magic, but who are they? Wonder Woman leads the team of Zatanna, Swamp Thane, Man Bat, and Detective Chimp against enemies who are even too fantastic for the Justice League. And it's up to them to stop this nightmarish new threat. And on top of all of that, who knows what kind of crazy stuff is coming through the Tree of Wonder. With art from Raul Fernandez and Alvaro Martinez, add Justice League Dark to your pull list today. We also have some new Marvel number ones on the stands to round out your Wednesday. Spinning out of last month's surprise nuptials comes Mr. and Mrs. X. This is from Kelly Thompson and Oscar Bezalda. Rogue and Gambit try to balance their lives as newlyweds against jealous exes and heroic duties saving the galaxy. This should be a fun new title for X fans. And Infinity Wars Prime is a great jump on point for the cosmic story arc about to lead to big events in the Marvel U. All six Infinity Stones have made their way to Earth. A new mysterious hooded villain looms and we know this opening issue ends in a shocking twist. All this and more on the stands this Wednesday. I'm going to start merchandise off this week with another new Freddy. This time it's NECA's take on Nightmare on Elm Street 2 and he comes with some extra creepy accessories. And something new for the Funko collectors? These are diorama sets called comic book moments, creating famous scenes from your favorite issues. Next time you're in the shop, check out this Deadpool and Cable face-off. These comic art boxes from NECA have been really popular. The newest one is Alex Ross's Kingdom Come lineup. This is a gorgeous short box. And if you're a fan of Cable, check out our new premium collection, Cable Statue. This thing is over a foot tall and it's super detailed, hand sculpted by John St. John. If you're a Cable fan, this will make the center point of your collection. The hype train rolled in from San Diego Comic Con and we've got you covered. What probably got the most attention was those DC trailers. Aquaman looks epic and Shazam looks like a lot of fun. Big movies always drum up new interests and characters that don't always get the spotlight. If you want to read up on Aquaman and Shazam, we've got all kinds of trade paperbacks in the store. Come on in and ask for a suggestion. But I want to let you guys know about the new comic news that came out at the con. Some big names are taking on some key characters over at DC. Grant Morrison is going to be doing a new Green Lantern book with Liam Sharp. Focusing on Hal Jordan, it'll be less epic adventure and more, as Grant Morrison describes, an intimate space cop story. And Kelly Sue DeConnick is going to be taking over Aquaman. I'm guessing this will be geared as a jump on point for new readers because of the movie. For Star Wars fans, there are a couple of cool announcements. The Kid Friendly line at IDW will be running a spooky special in time for Halloween. It's called Vader's Castle and it sounds like a lot of fun. And for those of you who just can't get enough continuity, there's a 24-part Marvel run crossing over the three major eras, prequels, original trilogy, and Disney in one epic story. This is a big team of writers and artists. You won't want to miss this. And for Marvel's primary roster, we'll be getting the new Vision and the villain-focused X-Men Black. There's so much stuff at San Diego Comic-Con, we can't begin to cover it all here. If something has you hyped up that we missed, just let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I think it looks awesome.